the former President Bush and the former President Clinton were together uh, on all of the news show. they were shows. They were seated at the White House and taking interviews from all the news shows because they are putting together the Clinton Bush Haiti Fund uh, dot org, and they are you know have big plans for what they're going to do with that money. President Clinton uh, has been uh, really involved in Haiti for a very long, long time, uh, and now he's the special envoy of the United Nations there. So for him, it's an appropriate mission. But uh, you know, it's a mission about coming together, people who. You know, I, you know how I feel about uh, George W. Bush, um, but I couldn't help yesterday but kind of root for him when, for the first time ever, when I saw him sitting next to Bill Clinton talking about what was going on in Haiti. Well, I'll tell you, he's if he can raise money for people who need it, I'm all for it. Yeah, uh, and and you know he certainly can. He's raised uh, money for you know people who don't need it. So uh, that's it, it, true. But but uh, without but thinking, Terry Bradshaw went on after he did it that big. Uh, event he appeared at, the inspirational salesmanship event. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's not a bigger draw than Terry Bradshaw. So if we can get Clinton Bush and Terry Bradshaw. Right. Well, I mean, he, he's a lot of things, George W. Bush. An inspirational speaker, in fact, I would bet that he would not even call himself. Uh, but it, it, without uh, being cynical, it was pretty impressive. And, and let's, uh, let's listen to a little bit of what uh, the former president and uh, the former presidents uh, had to say. Uh, this is uh, George W. Bush. Uh, the uh, 43rd President of the United States. Uh, this is clip number three, JR. President Bush, what did you learn in your government's response to the tsunami, to the disaster response to Katrina? What lessons did you learn that this administration should bear in mind? Uh, first of all, it takes time to get the supplies in place. But that, that, that shouldn't deter them. In other words, there, there's an expectation uh, amongst people that things are going to happen quickly. And, and sometimes it's hard to make things happen quickly. Secondly, there is a great reservoir of goodwill that uh, wants to help, and th that's why he asked us to help, and we're glad to do it. Uh, I need to put a pitch in for the Clinton Bush Haiti Fund org. One of my concerns uh, around any crisis is that shysters show up and take advantage of people's goodwill and generosity, and so therefore, if people want to help, one one avenue besides the established. NGOs would be to would be to tap onto that website and and we'll we'll help make sure your money is spent in a transparent accountable way. In some circles, the president's been criticized for politicizing this disaster. Do you think that's fair? Uh, I, I don't know what what they're talking about. I, I I've, I've been briefed by the president about the response, and as I said in my opening comment, I, I appreciate the president's quick response to this disaster. You know, if I can just for a second take back a little bit of my cattiness about President Bush a, mo a moment ago, I will say this, that he's showing a kind of political courage that uh, Bill Clinton and some of the other respondents don't have to have because he's the only one stepping up to the plate and raising money for Haiti who has to contend with people in his own movement who oppose that idea. Yeah. No sane person as an independent or a Democrat would oppose raising uh, funds for this, these people who need it so desperately. But President Bush is actually showing some political courage by resisting those conservative voices that say we shouldn't give a nickel. Yeah, and you know, I think uh, we all know that uh, that uh, George W. Bush is a man of faith, and I think that this is one of those times where the faith calls and and the man responds. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I think that it's Im impossible to argue that we could sit here and do shows as we did for eight years about um, about what we don't like about George W. Bush. But the fact is that you know he's come together. He's uh, he has, and you knew also, I think, that he, and he had to have known that in, in stepping up to an endeavor such as this, that uh, he would have to answer a lot of questions about Katrina. And um, this shouldn't be about Katrina. We all know what happened with Katrina. This should be about learning what, what shouldn't be done the next time and not sort of blaze, you know, not saying, uh, but President Bush, you blew it on Katrina. Why should you be in charge of Haiti? He's not in charge of rebuilding Haiti. He's in charge of raising money to help rebuild Haiti and to help fix Haiti and to have somebody who is, you know, uh, has some influence within his own political constituency is pretty great. And I know, listen, there are people who listen to the show who never want to hear a good thing about George W. Bush. Um, and you're still safe listening here, but uh, this is a pretty impressive uh, endeavor that's, that's gone on.